That's it. That's inaccurate. You, you are wrong. Tariffs, you tariffs are paid. Tariffs are paid because you are a dumbass. Because tariffs are paid by American businesses and consumers. So, will you let me explain to you why that's not the case? But no, I, I, you know, I do think that like you're 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 coming from this from a point of derangement to a degree where you just you, you're only viewing their motives as like sinister and malevolent nope. or like. To be clear, when I say Trump doesn't know what a tariff is, I'm assigning good faith to him. It's a factual statement that China pays tariffs oh, and American consumers don't pay tariffs. It's not derangement. Is it a factual statement that American consumers do not pay tariffs? I agree if tariffs could be used to bring down their tariffs too, then I would agree the end result there is good because the end result is free trade. I also think it's in the okay, United States. Okay. I, wait, I, to I be like clear, I, wait, wait, wait. I, it, Great. I like that you said that. I have never said that because I think that I think free trade is good. If the end result is free trade, then I'm all for that. I also think that so regardless of I, mean, I also think that regardless of what Europe does, it's in the US's interest to engage in essentially unilateral free trade and not have tariffs. We can fact check this and verify that this is the proposed fucking plan. Or do you think you're just I'm quoting from his own website? <laughs> you wouldn't I get it! You're the one who's got fucking derangement. That's insane, dude. If Trump is making a statement, and that statement is not accurate, there are two possibilities. Either one, he doesn't know that statement is inaccurate, or two, he knows that statement is inaccurate and is repeating it anyway. If you want to see more content like this, I would really appreciate you liking and subscribing. It really helps with the algorithm. And make sure to check out the Discord and other social links in the description. Welcome back. Around there? What'd you say? You hear me? Yep. Okay. Yeah, man. So I want to talk to you about these tariffs again. Mm hmm. Is the uh, voice quality better this time? Or are we all chingled like last time? Uh, it's pretty good. It's still about the same. Yeah. Okay. So I think that, you know, I almost want to kind of use an analogy. I'm an analogies guy. All right. Okay. Let's just go to 2020, like I was saying in the comment section. I don't know how old you are. I think you're pretty young. But let's just go to 2020, and you're doing this shit. And. You know, all your figures and charts that you like to read, all the little think tanks you're getting your reports from and all that, uh -huh. they're all saying that we, we need social distancing and, and, you know, all the things that we now know are wrong. So, you you know what I mean? I think the way that you debate and argue, you, you there, there's I mean, no possibility that those charts are wrong. Whenever, like, on so many instances, to be clear, in I most don't think cases, that turns out to be the case. I don't think there's no possibility that they're wrong. I think there's a very high probability they're correct, though. Also, economists weren't the one, so status econometricians weren't the one doing multivariable regressions as to whether or not we needed social distancing. Okay, well, let's, like, let's talk about economists. Let's talk mm -hmm. about economists. Great. What, like, what do you think the economists, like all these, like, like the, 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 the heterodoxy amongst all the economists in the 1990s, whenever Bill Clinton, Democrat, and the Koch brothers, Republican donors, are colluding to get NAFTA going. What do you think the the economists are saying at that point in time? Because they're all for these no tariffs and like the same no tariffs, yep. like complete free trade, love NAFTA. What do you think they were saying? It the effects it would have on the middle class were and union jobs and the labor, you know, community. Well, I, do you I, think I don't know. I don't know what effects they would say it would have on union jobs if they said it would help union jobs. You're wrong, but I still think I think they said that NAFTA would have net positives, and I think they're they were right now they did have net positive effects in in what way like because we had free, cheaper trinkets uh part of it yeah you know because like i know last time we talked about like you 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 spoke well i actually only think you're talking to me and i heard you speak about like or someone brought up that our economy was 80 percent in the service sector mm -hmm. and you were like that's a good thing that's a good thing and like mm -hmm. To a degree, it, it is a good thing. Do you think there's any limits on that? Do you think there could be any negatives from so much of our economy being based off the service side rather than, you know, manufacturing and goods and, you know, more tangible items? Well, I think there can be negatives, but I think the benefits outweigh those negatives. Like, generally... Well what like, negatives do you think there could be? Like, I think I know what you're going to say the positives are, but I'm just curious. I want, I'm trying to get, well, I want to, I want to take you somewhere. So I'm trying to see what negatives do you think there could be from having your economy be too top heavy in the service? Because when we talk about service, industry, when you say we're not too about, top heavy, that's well, like when we're just, when we say like this, when we say like our, our economy is 80% service based, like that's like when you think about these high rise buildings in these massive corporate campuses where just thousands of people work, right? Like, and that's what we're talking about. It's like they're doing like they're not really working on products and producing a thing. They're doing just kind of 
uh, they're doing service work. Yep. So do you think there's any potential damage that can be done to the economy from being too top heavy in that sense? Uh, damage to the economy? Not particularly. They, like, I think the big concern would be damage to national security because we can't manufacture needed military equipment. Yeah, I mean, that's a case I would make, but I don't even, I, you know, I think that's an obvious one. But, like, I think there's actual economic damage to be done from it. Like, not even, like, on a defense base, but I think there's actual economic damage to be done. Well, what's it. the economic that, damage? Well, like, you get what we have now, right? So what we have now is we've wheeled and dealed and found ways to, to streamline and get profit, right? Like, you can go buy a big TV. Like, I just bought a bunch of TVs for my Christmas party at my company. I'm giving them away. And like I got a 65 inch TV for five hundred dollars, 65 inch, and I got a 55 inch for like three fifty or some shit. Cheap. I got a big ass grill for my guys for next to nothing, right? Thank and you for the five bits, wise Kanye get, West. Like, I appreciate like, it. Welcome in back. In the fucking sixties, when we were making everything in America, it was like a whole week's paycheck to get a barbecue grill, right? So I can see how you're like, look at this positive we have, right? Mm -hmm. But the exchange of that is that yes, we get these trinkets for cheap. Right. But where the money actually goes now is the things that are vital, the industry items that like when, and when I say industry, I mean, things that everybody buys. Right. I, things that are ubiquitous, cars, homes, clothing, you A know, random dumbass chatter right now. Well, clothing wouldn't really be part of industry, but um, they get to where they're so top heavy on this service side. There's so many fuckers that got to get paid along the way. And we found so many jobs for people in this sector that were used to be. There wasn't that many mouths to feed in the 90s, and you could work at fucking Subway and McDonald's, have two people, and actually, you know, live in an apartment and, and get by. You couldn't buy a bunch of trinkets, but you weren't worried about your, your livelihood. Whereas now, yeah, you can get fucking trinkets from China across the sea, you know what I mean? But you can't afford a home. You well, know? I think the, the homeownership, I don't think really has anything to do with free trade. I think the free trade actually helped with housing affordability. I think the housing affordability issue, which I agree is a big issue, is because we artificially restrict housing supply with zoning laws. That's the big issue there. Yeah, but that's, but that's part of, you're part of the problem on that too, to a degree, right? Because you're the, the quote, deep state liberal, right? Yeah, that's me. I am the deep state liberal. That's well, me. Why, why, well, like, I mean, or is that like a, are you being like facetious with that? I think it's a pretty accurate Title. description of who I am. Yeah, I think so. I think you're a technocrat is what I think. You know, I think in, in your heart, you're a technocrat. You're a fucking Obama style, you know, pre fucking woke, uh, you know, technocrat. I think you believe people with, you know, degree, advanced degrees should be creating systems and the plebeians don't have the ability to really understand it is what I think. You know? Well, I mean, I, I don't know what you mean by like, I mean, I think the free market does a good job at deciding these things essentially. So if the free market, if people well, don't think. But the free market is dangerous. Like it's, it's a, it, you know, I like to think of like a diamond shape, you know, like you, you go too far one way or the other. It's bad. You go too far to the right. You get, you know, it scales, you know, the economy of scale. You're in, are you in school? Nope. You're not. Wait, in actually, no, wait, wait, yes, I am. Never mind. No, no, I am. I forget. I am an online uh, college. Sorry. I forgot. <laughs> Studying. Right, I, I'm Anything just getting like a poli sci bullshit. I'm planning on getting an economics degree. Okay, are you studying that shit yet? Have you like learned about economy of scale? I am familiar with economies of scale. Yes, <laughs> obviously. Okay, well, like if you like use like the same logic that uh, Adam Smith used with capitalism and shit, and like the free markets in the original, or even like what Karl Marx used with his like socialism theory and people needing to own the means of production, they kind of like predict it out to the future. You know, they're saying like, like, you know, fuck, Hey, if you know, if it, you, I don't have to explain Adam Smith to you, but like with, even with socialism, they're like, Hey, if we don't stop this now, all the machines are going to take the jobs and no one's going to have any money, you know? And it's the same way you can kind of predict out with like a free market to a degree with the economy of scale. Eventually one company is going to own everything. You know, like in theory, not like it's not necessarily going to happen, but like I do have the due PDF to economy degree. scale and corporate mergers and, you know, multinational deals, you know, and, and, and globalism, you literally could get to where one company has more power than any one government. I, I, don't, has I don't entirely 
disagree. This is why, like, I'm not a hundred percent pro free market. I think one thing we need to do. I, I do believe in, for example, anti antitrust being able to break up companies that we think are monopolies, and I do believe in a tax system that redistributes wealth from the potential winners of trade to the losers of trade, so that you know people who lose their jobs because of free trade have a social safety net. They get money. Um, I think tariffs are a really bad way to protect jobs, by the way, because they're really expensive. Uh, usually, like government income assistance costs like thirty thousand dollars a year, whereas like tariffs are oftentimes like eight hundred thousand dollars per job protected. So that's the that's my belief. Yeah. No, I I think that like I think that you can make everything you're saying true with the numbers, right? But I think that someone who is like equally as bookish can disprove it the other way, right? Like I think that Ben Shapiro can come here and dunk on you on this and make you well, walk ben shapiro, out your, you know no I mean? ben shapiro is pro free trade ben shapiro is usually libertarian yeah, well, i don't think you know, he's not a supporter like, I, I don't know who's on it i don't i don't care but you know some i don't know who you know maybe charlie kirk you know whoever would be on the side of this you know some you i know, mean i'm sure are you, are you are you a flat earther am i a flat earther obviously yeah. dude come on well, yeah. i can't I'm tell flat. i can't tell if you're being ironic or not but like like the the best flat earther could probably beat me in the debate. That's not really a reason for me to think that the earth is flat. No, but what what I'm saying is is you can we can use numbers and I've made this argument before. You can use numbers to prove like like a Democrat and a Republican be, can be on stage and debate each other, right? And they can both cite cite statistics that are a hundred percent accurate. Both of them. And like really kind of prove their point. Because humans are so complex and our markets are so complex and our cultures and societies blending and the geopolitical trade and different policies and different currencies. It's so fucking complex that like you can prove you, anything's fucking right. You know what I mean? Like you, you can prove anything well, right. No. <laughs> so it's like, you know, Bill Burr makes the point about that joke he has about like uh, uh, shark attacks. He was like, you know, like statistics are bullshit. He was like, people tell you like, you know, 95% of shark attacks happen in shallow water. And he's like, yeah, well, that's where all the fucking people are. No shit. You know what I mean? Like 95% of people in the water in fucking shallow water at the beach. Not like we're all out here a mile out. You know what I mean? So like statistics can be bullshit, you know, or like. Do you, do you uh, think stat more, wait, wait, do you think statisticians, like do you think stati huh? statisticians and econometricians who do this research don't know all the things you just said? Are they all just stupid? Do they not account for these things? Like, I think it's impossible to account for. I don't, I don't think I think you, I think it's hubris to think you could. Like, I think it's arrogant to think. you I could. mean, it's a think soft science, right? So they're never right? they're never going to be able to know 100 percent. Hang on, I'm sorry. I'm interrupting. Go ahead. I mean, it's a soft science, so I agree. They're not going to be able to know a hundred percent of everything. I don't think that's the. I don't think that's a standard that we need for proof, though. That just seems like an absurd standard that like okay, nothing could ever pollster. reach. Look at your pollsters. Like you're aware of the science involved in polling. Like, yeah. It's it's it's, it's it, it, don't. Are you saying yes sarcastically? I no. I I'm aware, but I I don't think <laughs> like you're going to prove the point people. that you're trying to prove. These are smart people. These are mathematicians. A lot of them. Like yep. these posts, like Ann Rice, uh, you know, from Iowa, like that's a bad bitch, man. She like she's the one who predicted uh, Obama beforehand and heard like she used like math to do it and was right. And no one else thought she could do that. No, or, you know, thought it could be. So like there are these the polar the polling people are fucking really good. They're smart, intelligent people trying their best using real numbers. Like you said, putting everything into play and you can't fucking do it. You can you can get it every now and again. You know what I mean? But it doesn't mean that you're going to be right. It doesn't mean you're going to be wrong every time either. I'm not. My, you know? Do you think my claim like, is that economists are right all the time? My claim is that economists, my claim is not economists are right all the time. But I do think there no, are statements that we can make that have not, a very it's, it's high probability that you're being not accurate. Willing to accept anything that isn't written in a book or has a, a study on it whenever what we're about to go through hasn't had fucking research done on it yet. Well, we've had plenty well, of research. We've had plenty of research okay, done on tariffs. That's how I see. It. Like, it, and, and like, I think that you're, I think that you have a little bit of the Trump derangement syndrome. Right. I mean, do you think mm -hmm. that's fair? No. Do, I mean, but you, okay. Do you think that's fair? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. So you, for real, it, like, it, 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 gun to your head, you think that fucking Donald Trump doesn't know what a tariff is for real. He either doesn't know what a tariff is or he no, 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 is no, no, lying. No, no, no. I'm not asking you does he either. I'm saying like you're saying to me that a billionaire 
who became president of the United States. Well, what do I? Twice. You're asking me what I personally believe. You're personally, saying that you're, that's, what, that's your claim, and you're going to tell me that you're not deranged. You're claiming no, you're arguing. Personally, to be clear, personally, I believe Trump is lying about them. However, it is. I'm not asking you if he's lying. I'm asking you. Said I you just don't said think that. He, you're saying he, you said for, for fact, verbatim, not any kind of. Oh, I'm being facetious, or I'm being tongue in cheek here. You said I don't think he knows what a tariff. No, you said he doesn't know what a tariff is. Declared either that's me assuming good faith of Trump because the alternative is that he's lying. So if I'm assuming good faith dude, about Trump, that's that's arrangement, dude. How is that derangement? That's, that's the, wait, no, that statement is 100 percent accurate. What's the other option that a politician would be doing? When they're saying these things, what's the other option, right? Like you're telling me you're reading from a fucking camp, you're reading policy, global trade policy from a, from a campaign website and interpreting it as how we're going to actually operate the, the, the incredibly nuanced global trade that is like more dynamic. Okay, wait, than wait, you wait. When Trump says, against. when Trump says the U.S. doesn't pay tariffs. That's the arrangement, dude. That's, when, and it's, wait, and that's, and it's, so the, wait, 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 wait. When Trump the says. They when Trump, shit, wait, can you, hold on, no, no, no. When Trump says that the U.S. doesn't pay tariffs, China does. Is he lying, or is he does he not know what a tariff is? Because it's one of those two. I, do, I argued that point with you last time, and you just flat ignored my whole debate on that. What's your well you answer? Is he lying? Is he lying? No, he and I can tell you is? why. I, no, he's not lying, and I can explain to you why if you would be. So he doesn't know what it is. All right. Because it's one of those two. Give me an item. Give me an item. All items or any item. Like what? Like let's just let's use an example. Let's 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 go through the actual workflow of a tariff here. Let's go hey. through the workflow of it and see who ends up paying it. Let's just like, let me in. cite an example that I think that Trump maybe Trump's maybe things aren't going to work out the way Trump wants, right? But here's how I think it's what he's talking about in his head. Let's just say textiles, okay? Textiles. Uh, Trump says, "Hey, you know." We're buying all these textiles from you. Like 80% of our textiles are coming from China. This is billions and billions of dollars of manufacturing. But you're not letting us sell, you know, our, you know, small motor components like pressure washers and lawnmowers over there that we can sell competitively because we make a shit. And if we sold, if we opened you up as a market, it would make us have the economy of scale where we could be more competitive globally on that and potentially, you know, have a great deal. So if you open up that market for us, we're not going to impose this tariff on your textile industry. And they say fucking kick rocks. And Trump says 50% tariff then, right? So uh, right now, Americans are going to pay that 50%, correct? Uh, sure, but hold on. Let me just find the quote from for, from Trump. Uh, I mean, you can keep going, but like, I, I, I don't, you're just, you're just going to be mean, disproven because. Just, what I'm saying is, is like, if we wanted to do an exchange, like, hey, like, we're going to impose tariffs on textiles, which you need us to buy. In exchange, we want you to open up the market for our small engine, you know, a s small engine. Uh, apply, okay, wait, you know, wait, wait. Here's a, so here's a direct quote from Trump on True Social: These tariffs are paid by are, are paid for by the abusing country, not the American consumer. They do not cause yep. inflation and will make America rich again. So he, does he either not know what a tariff is, or is he lying? No, and again, this is what I'm trying to. I, I, and this is that's the exact point that I'm trying to argue. Wait, can you this answer that? I'm to say, like, last time, last time you flatly ignored me on this, and I'm trying to make an argument. Because you're not answering my question. Take, does he not know what tariffs are? Is he lying? Can you answer that? He knows what tariffs are. Let me explain to you why. Okay, so he's lying. So he's what? lying. So he's lying. So he's that's the alternative no, there. He's, he's lying. The China will pay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Is these tariffs are not paid by the American? Wait, 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 wait. Are these tariffs are not paid by the American consumer? Is that a factual statement? Are they not? Are tariffs not paid by American consumers? Can I answer that? No, are tariffs? Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you how. Wait, they in this not it, what? Do, I, I understand hypothetically well, there could me, be a. Because if I, okay, let me say no, and then what do we do? Okay, no, they're not paid. Now what? Since you're not going to let me answer the question, no, they're not paid by the consumer. Now what? That's it. That's inaccurate. You, you are wrong. Tariffs, tariffs are paid. Tariffs are paid because you are a dumbass. Because tariffs are paid by American businesses and consumers. So, will you let me explain to you why that's not the case? I can. I mean, you can explain to me why that's not the case, but I'm going to explain to you why that's not true. Sure. Okay, so and I can cite empirical the evidence. That I'm trying to cite to you again. Let's go mm -hmm. back to the example I'm trying to cite to you again, and I want to like walk you through this because this is completely realistic. We want them to let us sell small engine parts over there small engine machinery like pressure washers and tillers and shit like that because we make a lot of them and if we had their business it would make us have a greater economy scale where we could sell more to the rest of the world more competitive blah 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 so we're saying hey 
we buy so much textile from you, e you know, either remove your tariffs from our small engine components or we're going to tariff the fuck out of your textile industry. If they say kick rocks, we apply a 50% tariff to textiles. In your head, people are paying 50% more right there. But what happens is all these manufacturers start looking for other vendors, okay? So the other vendors, like say we go to Indonesia, Bangladesh, who have a lot of textile manufacturing business and would be happy to get all of the American business they could get. They would be thrilled to do that. So we all of a sudden switch gears okay, one. and start getting wait, our products wait, wait. from them where they're not paying one. a tariff because they have agreed to do business with us where we're not going to impose a tariff on the textiles. So hang on, let me finish this thought. So now China's lost out on a billion-dollar industry in textiles, at least a billion dollars. The American people paid no tariffs because we found a country that's willing to play ball with us for that business. Okay, They're one. To do what wait, we wait, want wait, wait, real quick. To one, not have a tariff one, imposed on one, that one, 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 wait, real quick. One, you realize Trump is proposing tariffs on literally everybody, right? He wants 10% universal tariffs, at least on most foreign products is what he said. That's, I don't believe that's the, the case. I've okay. looked into it more and more, and all I can, like, oh, like wait, I, hold on, I, I wait, I've looked, saying, like, I've looked into it. I've looked into it. Wait, no, wait. First, this is the 2024 GOP platform, oh which Trump's... Oh this is the 2024 GOP platform, which Trump has claimed as his own. Republicans would support baseline tariffs on foreign-made goods. Uh, and this is uh, Agenda 47, Trump's own website. Trump announced his America First plan to re replace the disastrous binding system of punishing domestic producers and rewarding outsourcers with a new pro-America system of universal baseline tariffs on most foreign products. Um, there's another... Um, okay. Does another quote from him in an interview? He said, like, you know, I like the idea of 10% for everybody talking about tariffs. And he just said that it, the issue of 10% is that some countries are bigger abusers than others. But that's him suggesting that he does want to tariff everyone at least 10%. So, like. Well, so, okay. So here's my response to that. Mm -hmm. how, how often do you think, like, campaign campaign platform pages and actual policy line up how how frequent do you think that occurs like let's say like kamala harris's campaign page what do you think it's pro it it's like what it's talking about versus reality is going to be like i feel like you could have that nuance well it, depend it depends it depends on how much the democrats and understand and Hey, like that campaign page is not. It depends on the mar. It depends on the mar. It depends on a few it things. It depends. It depends on the margin. It, the margins in Congress. It depends on the political capital that the president feels like they have. But generally, uh, what you know, no, what doesn't. a plat. What do you mean it doesn't? Wait, do you dispute the fact yeah. that? Wait, do you dis wait, no, wait, wait, wait? Do you dispute the fact? Do you dispute the fact that what a president can do is limited by Congress? No. Okay, so you agree that, you know, if a president writes something, for example, if Kamala Harris writes on a platform, she wants to codify Roe v. Wade, she may very well want to do that and try to do that, but it's limited by Congress. Congress may not be willing to codify Roe v. Wade. Correct. So you understand. Correct. Correct. 100% accurate. Great. I agree with you. So that's my point is that You're proving how... My point. Well, no. So, like, so, okay, so that if that's to be case, clear, I don't know for case, sure. I don't know if this plan would go through for sure. For Let, let's just say non fawn is running for office now. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're gonna be fucking president bookworm, and they, wh what's your campaign? What's your campaign page gonna be like? Is it gonna be like okay? We're going to amend Section 203C of the World Trade Commission, Article 4.2, where soft items and gross you know, catalytic conversion. Wait, from do you China. agree or disagree you know I mean? that? Like, or, or do you wait? Do you gonna agree? Be, we're gonna have like. Y y you understand what I'm saying? Do you agree like, how, or disagree? Do you agree or disagree? Gonna say, hey, we're gonna do the best that Congress will allow us. Do we're you gonna agree? Hope that. Are you gonna give your fucking grand plan? Like your fucking. Here's what we're fucking fingers crossed. This well, is Trump has unimpeded. given his plan. Trump has given his plan. To be clear, the plan is not specific because he wanted to commit to a, a percentage of tariffs. But his stated plan is universal tariffs, is, is tariffs on most foreign products. Do you dispute that? I, I, I think it's yes. No, I do not. But I think that you're misinterpreting it. I think it's more of okay. a threat. I think it, is a, it right. is a threat to use leverage. I don't think it's I don't think it's this like we're just going to tank the economy measure no matter what. I think that you're just interpreting it as 
Trump is just going to bullheadedly bulldoze the economy regardless of the consequences. That's not no. I think that's what I, I think you're interpreting in that way. That's and not I my interpretation. <laughs> my interpretation is that the voters are stupid and don't understand how tariffs work. So Trump can get a lot of political gain by lying about how they work. I do think and Trump so, also okay. doesn't under. I, I do think where's Trump. Trump profit, then? Where's like what's his incentive then to do this? I what's just told incentive? you. I just told you his incentive to, to lie to people just, about tariffs so he can get elected. That so that so his his whole goal with this tariff thing is to lie to people about it so he can get elected. Now he's elected. Well, I think that's part of his he's goal. But... Our goal. So now we're just going to tank the economy just because is what you're saying. Well, I don't necessarily think. Well, universal. I think fully universal tariffs probably would tank the economy. I, I don't know if I expect let's him to tariff. Like a villain in a fucking, let's not make him a villain in a preschool cartoon that just his whole goal is just to do evil. Like, what is his incentive for it then? I think he like, thinks like, it'll bring manufacturing back, and I think he doesn't understand that imports don't reduce GDP. Oh, so you've got it figured out. Like, you don't I think mean, that there's any chance? That you, you don't think there's any chance? No, you, I think there's a chance I'm wrong. I think there's a much higher chance that he's wrong. Something, right? Like, I think I, there's a chance I'm wrong. Like, I think there's a much higher chance charge, he's wrong. Like the economy would end up better. You I think so. Though, I don't. Right. Like, it, like. I mean, I don't know I just, for sure. If I was in charge, we wouldn't I do tariffs. You're, you're, and what, I think there would be benefits from that. Refuses, are you one of those that refuses to see like the economic benefits that happened under the first Trump administration? Or, uh, like, no, I think you, the economy like, was generally good under Trump. I'm just going to flat out say that. Huh? Huh? I, I think the economy was generally good under Trump. I don't dispute that. Like, do you think there was anything he did that like drove that, or do um, you think it was just inherited? Because I'm not going to try to. I'm, I, 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 the I last argument I'm going to have with somebody is this. I don't think he did much to harm it, other than his tariffs. I don't think he did much to help it specifically. I mean, some deregulation he probably did was fine, but. Why haven't the tariffs on the steel been removed then? Uh, because Biden is dumb too. <laughs> it's a national security concern. It's a justification for them. But you, but Biden did let some tariffs expire. Wait, acknowledge that. Bi wait, 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 wait. Acknowledge, acknowledge. Biden did let some of Trump's tariffs expire. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I think Biden gets actually a bad rap. I think he. Gets I a bad agree. Rap. Like he, you know. Uh, he, I mean, he's part of the establishment, but like, um, he's not as god awful as everybody thinks he was. Trump had a lot to do with the inflation that no one talks about, and I, mean, I know we're veering off here, but like the, you know, the CARES Act that everybody signed on to, just say let's just print fucking trillions of dollars, and just to, you know pour a bunch of water in our whiskey and think it's gonna be just as potent as, as it was before. You know what I mean? It's not. And that's so like no matter who came up inflation, like if Trump got reelected, he was going to get fucked by inflation, too. You know, and I think that that's just it's unfair to pin it all on Biden. True. I don't think Biden fucking made the right steps to get rid of it. But Trump would have dealt with it just the same, you know, and the incoming president. Now, like, I think Kamala would have obviously reduced inflation to it or, you know, steadied inflation regardless. Well, I think most of that's probably the Federal Reserve. But yeah. But no, I, I you know I do think that like you're 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 coming from this from a point of derangement to a degree where you just you, you're only viewing their motives as like sinister and malevolent nope. or like to be clear when I say Trump doesn't know what a tariff is I'm assigning good faith to him it's a factual statement that China pays tariffs and American consumers don't pay tariffs it's not derangement is it a factual statement that American consumers do not pay tariffs okay what do you what do you do for a living uh. I stream. <laughs> I mean, I, I I still live at home with my parents. Like, I don't. I, I go to college and I stream. I make technically an above zero amount streaming. Well, then, but I'll, I'll use myself as an example to a degree, right? Mm -hmm. My whole life, like every job I had, I always. Wait, can you answer like my question? Is it a factual statement? I don't care about your antidote of your life right now. Is it a factual statement that American consumers don't pay tariffs? Is that factual or is that not true? I think it, it, there it has potential to go either way. I think it has potential to go either way. Okay, I mean, I don't I dispute. That, I don't dispute. I, that, I don't dispute that, that in theory. Okay, hang on, let me ask you a no question. Let me ask you a yes or no question. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it's possible to use the buying power of America to get better deals for the American consumers? Do you think it's better to like leverage our buying power, like I don't know, the National Health Service does for England to get the best price on pills because they're like we're the biggest buyer, give us a better fucking deal. 
Do you think yeah, it's I think good it's for possible. the government to do that? Well, I don't yeah? necessarily think it's, it's good because I debate its effectiveness. Well, I, I am not committed. Market. I'm not committed to the position that the free market is always good. But I mean, yeah, if like if we could use tariffs to get other countries to lower their tariffs, I would agree that's a good thing. But I, that's a good thing because the end result is free trade, which is what I want. I, I think that's what everybody wants in the end. But like, there is nope. no other country that has like this free trade like you're talking about. It doesn't exist. What do you mean? There's I no think other Singapore like, is, like the closest we get. Singapore and fucking Thailand. Like, I mean, we wait, what do you mean free trade like I'm us. talking about? I just want us to have minimal tariffs. A lot of countries have minimal tariffs. O almost no country has what Trump is proposing, by the way, which is like an effective average tariff rate of like 15 percent, which is. Uh, Dude, we can sell our vehicles more competitively in Europe than they can sell their vehicles. Look it yeah, up. Yeah, that's bad. Either nope, I, I understand. Nope, I, I understand people are, mention are it. I'm wrong? Did I say you're wrong? No, I said you're right. I understand. Yeah. Okay, well, so, so, uh, okay, what 80, I'm not even gonna argue with you on this, this is a fact, 80% of Germany's economy is based off manufacturing, right? We agree. It's not, a, we're not um, argue that. It's I fact. haven't looked into it, but sure, I can accept that, whatever, yeah. You know what, maybe I'm wrong, it's, it's incredibly high, like, their, and their, their economy is based off, off manufacturing, and their tax structure is, is all to incentivize that, okay? But a lot of that is, the, their largest customer is America. We are buying their fucking the BMWs, the Volkswagens, the Audis, the fucking uh, all their fucking tools. Like Hilti is doing billions in America, and they fucking like it's hard to get Milwaukee tools in fucking in in Germany. You know, like that's like that's like so like they're one of like they're like the biggest economy in Europe, and like the the base of their economy is manufacturing. Their biggest customer is us. Like, you know what I mean? And they're like, and then they, like, do you, do you see where I'm coming from? Like, this sucks. Like, yeah, no, you, like, I, I agree. If tariffs market, could be used as a. Open your market to us. Like, open your market to us too. Because we can sell cars more affordable over there than you can. I agree. If tariffs could That's be used bullshit. to bring down their tariffs too, then I would agree. The end result there is good because the end result is free trade. I also think it's in okay, the United States. Okay. I, wait, I, to I be like, clear, I, wait, wait, wait. I, I, like it, that you said that. Great. I like that you said that. I have never said that because I think that I think free trade is good. If the end result is free trade, then I'm all for that. I also think that so regardless of I also, wait, I also think that regardless of what Europe listen. does, it's in the US's interest to engage in essentially unilateral free trade and not have tariffs. I could see I could see why you think that, but I think you're wrong. Like why? like you said, like let's just let me, let me let me just since you said the goal is no tariffs, let's say this that if Trump's tariff policy leads to less tariffs overall. I think that's a good thing, it, sure. But would you admit it? Yeah. Would you then say, like, oh, fuck, maybe the billionaire that got elected president twice did know what a tariff was, and the guy that lives with his parents was kind of foolish for calling him an idiot? Like, do you well, not see the fucking craziness in that? Do you well, not like that's the part that I don't get is like you Trump wanna, has like, given me no good reason to believe he either knows what a tariff is or is not lying about it. Like, <laughs> dude, like, okay, you know who Jerry Jones is? Nope. He's the owner of the Dallas Cowboys. He's like a really like a billionaire. You know, he's he's very famous oil tycoon. Very, you know, very rich. And um, like I met this guy, and uh, Ross Perot. Do you know who Ross Perot is? Nope. Okay, fuck. He's another billionaire. He, uh, but these are billionaire tycoon guys. These motherfuckers are like you meet these guys, and it is another level, dude. Like they will fuck your wife. Like they will. Mm -hmm. Like I I'm telling you, man. Like, and so it's really easy to just see someone on TV and think, oh, they're idiots. Like, like to be I clear, I, to I think another possibility is Trump does know what a tariff is and he's lying about it. Okay, well, to be clear, if that's, like, if you sound dumb if you say anything else, to be clear. But right? I because sound dumb if I say anything else. That you, dude, don't argue, don't say that Trump doesn't know what a fucking tariff is. You're, you're, if you're saying that, you're coming from a place of bad faith. You know. Nope, it. no, wait, that's me assuming good faith, because when twice, Trump says, wait, wait, so shut the fuck up. Wait, wait, wait. When Trump says consumer, U.S. consumers do not pay tariffs, that is, an, that is not a factual statement. Considering the totally fact that... Fucked. Nope. Considering that is not a factual statement that U.S. consumers do not pay tariffs, Trump is either 
e either oh one, God. doesn't know what a tariff is, or is two, lying. I'm gonna, if I assume good faith, I just assume Trump's a fucking retard and doesn't know. If I'm assuming Bro. bad faith in Trump, then I say Trump is lying. I just explained to you how it's possible. Like, if we leverage our business for tariff, because I don't think- Wait, I that's think not, that, that the, you, no. Again, again, I think that you're taking- The U.S. No, consumer I, I, would still pay the tariff, it's just that the end result is less tariffs overall, okay, which is a good this, end result, but the U.S. consumer is still debate? the one paying the tariff. Did you ever do debate? Did you ever do debate in high school nope. and shit? Nope. Fucking A, you have no, goddamn, you have no real world experience. Okay, let me just say that all the evidence you have for Trump's tariff plans, do you think that is actual credible evidence from people who can back it up and say, oh yes, we can fact check this and verify that this is the proposed fucking plan? Or do you think you're just I'm quoting from his own website. <laughs> you would not, I get it. You're going from a campaign website and you're talking about global fucking trade based off campaign talk. If you think the fucking message he's given to the farmers in Iowa on the fucking grandstand is what he's going to implement, you're the one who's got a fucking derangement. That's insane, dude. If Trump is making a statement and that statement is not accurate, there are two possibilities. Either one, he doesn't know that statement is inaccurate, or two, he knows that statement is inaccurate and is repeating it anyway. My position and, is and that when Trump certain, talks about tariffs, no possibilities, right? That's the thing. You're certain there's no other, there's nothing else involved, right? There's no other. Well, what would the other possibility be? Two. The other possibility is that he's fucking using rhetoric that people can understand. He's not talking to fucking nerds. He's not talking. He's Wait. talking to fucking <laughs> landscapers, dude. He's talking to fucking high school dropouts. Mm -hmm. He's saying we've lost your fucking jobs. I'm going to get it back. And if we don't get it back, I'm going to make these big companies that shipped them off fucking pay for it. That's not what he's going to fucking do. That's how he's getting. He's well, then he's lying. You understand like that. You he's Democrats lying. Could learn from that. You Democrats could learn from that. I don't disagree that he could be lying to get people to vote for him. It's, okay, it's but fine. he's Listen, lying. Welcome, no, the term is politicking, dude. The term no, the is term politics. is lying. Politicians lie, the, but the term, if he makes an inaccurate statement, he either doesn't... The term is politics. It's, like, that's, it's like, I mean, like, there's a spin room. I mean, Trump, the Trump campaign openly released that, like, let Tucker Carlson release that fucking video. What do you mean, you streamer nerd? I have streamer mode turned on. What? everything that fucking Kamala was saying live. Did you see that shit? Uh, see what shit, sorry? You know what I'm talking about? Did you see that Trump documentary where, like, they, they had, like, the... Tucker Carlson's camera crew, like, uh, following Trump's campaign while he was, uh, they were watching Kamala at the convention give a speech. And, like, it shows him in his tweet machine and all his yeah, fucking Yeah, you're supposed aids, to be able to hear like, the Discord. What do you mean? everything yes. she says. Like, and he's really open about it. Like, it's, that's what politics is, is, like, it's spin. It's, 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 it's a message that everybody can understand. Right. Right. But then policy right. is different. And it's, it's foolish. Like, you're, you're naive and foolish to sit here and think that the message he's telling to farmers Streamer and mode is enabled. landscapers and painters is what he's going to actually implement at the fucking no, 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 world. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not about what he's going to do. No, no. Look. Oh, um, nah, someone... this jabron. <laughs> Bro, I'll, I'll be chill. I'll be chill. I'll be chill. It's like a bachelor is an unmarried man. Okay, that's a definition. It's not like you propose. Like, it's not like if you say, "Oh, I'm gonna meet you, my bachelor friend," but he's not actually. But like, no. If you say he's a bachelor, he's an unmarried man. There is no in between. So when he says to people, a tariff is not paid by consumers, that's not like, oh, he's gonna do another. Po he's just lying. okay. He's either lying or okay. he doesn't know what a tariff is. There's no in between. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this in less words. Then I'm gonna try to say this in less words because I'm obviously too long winded. Um, uh, if we, I don't think he's going to impose a universal tariff. I can guarantee that's the I'm case. Not, that's not, the, the, that's not, not, not that. what I said. We that's not what I that. said, bro. Listen to what I said. Listen, wait, huh? listen again to what I said. Listen again to what I said. Trump defined the tariff as something that is not paid by the people who import. He defined it as something that's paid by the country that exported it. That's Under, false. I think do, we, do we agree that's false? Do we, wait, do we agree that's false? I need the context wait, do we agree that's false? Wait, do we agree I that's false? Context. I think it's false that Trump sat there and said, let me define tariff for you. Well, yeah. He said uh, tariff is, is paid by China. He said they're paid by China. Yeah, I can no, like no, he, I sent the thing and he defined it. You're saying he defined it. I think like, well, like he didn't I don't say, think oh, that like, a tariff is a, a, a thing is a tariff. Let X be a tariff if and only if like that's not what he said. He said I don't think he, 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 he was he was saying he was saying that 
the, the money comes from China. China pays the tariff. He says consumers don't pay the tariff. Does it increase the price for consumers? Like he says it all the time. Like if you listen to things okay. he says, like conservatives okay, so that constantly. But, they say that constantly. That the tariff is paid by China. I think that that's totally feasible. That the, the, the no, the, the, that's the, definitionally not a tariff. Do we agree that's definitionally? A tariff is a tax on imports. If you import, you're an individual. You okay, do an import, you why? get taxed. But why? Wait, why do we? Wait, wait. No, I don't care about why. I don't care about why. <laughs> can we agree the definition? He's not saying it's gonna hurt China. and You can spin it. And by the way, you grade you grade Trump on such a fucking curve. Wait, but either way, either way, a tariff by definition is a tax on your citizens who do imports. We agree, yes or no? Yes. So when he says it's paid by China. He's wrong. We agree he's wrong? No. Oh my god. <laughs> I can explain if y'all want Daddy to Trump can let never me. be wrong with these people. I don't think you'll let me explain. But I mean Yeah, explain no. yourself. Explain. Go ahead. No, Go it's ahead. like an explanation of that in some hypothetical cases China would reduce no. export prices no. or chi- or production no. removed to another I country and therefore they don't pay. It. It's so dumb. Even if China will suffer, they don't pay. They don't pay that exactly. no 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 currency from China comes to the US. It's only okay, paid I'll, by people import. Go okay, ahead. Okay, so explain. if you find ahead. another vendor that we're a, that we're willing to deal with without a tariff, okay? Because I think that y'all are wrong on this universal tariffs. I don't think that's the case. I can't find any verifiable thing. All I've seen is Trump say, <laughs> you know, we'd like to do universal tariffs. You know, we wait, 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 wait. Again, again, separate, separate, separate the policy from the definition. There's the policy, like, if I define a UBI <laughs> as a tax, like, wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. Like, if Andrew Yang, if Andrew Yang said a UBI is a tax, that's wrong, that's wrong. Now, he may not end up not doing UBI, Cool, but he still said something wrong. So separate the definition of what he said from what he's going to do. I'm not talking about what he's going to do. I don't know if he's going to do universal tariffs. It's going to be hard for him to do that. I think I'm the, saying, for the I'm saying, is- I'm saying, I'm saying there is a dichotomy here. Trump said, yeah. Trump said an intrinsic characteristic of a tariff is that it's paid by China. That's he false. Straight up, no economist said that. That not, therefore, you're, you're therefore. Adding- Context and shit to it, dude. He never said that the intrinsic characteristic of a fucking tariff is that it's paid by another country. He never said that. You're at, you're creating that. <laughs> Do you oh think I God. need to quote him verbatim, bro? Do you think I need to quote like, him verbatim? Okay, he did say that. Let's say, let's let's come to something we can agree to. Trump said that the tariff is not paid by the American consumer; it's paid by the country we impose it on. Let's debate that. Yeah, that's what you're that's what he said. He said mm-hmm. that. Okay. Okay. He didn't say that yeah. a tariff. De- is defined as a fucking fee another country pays. That's not what he said. Okay. So under the and, and listen. So we're gonna have to. If you want me to explain to you my side, you're gonna have to understand that I don't think he's gonna impose universal tariffs. I don't. I can guarantee you he won't. I promise you, semiconductors will not be tariffed. You know. I don't know. If we'll do it. I'm not talking about universal tariffs again. Right. Set, well, I, I don't know how you, no, I, your mind I, is like a moat. Your mind is moat right now. Your mind is moat. <laughs> make your mind separate, okay? I'm talking. There's I the universal tariff. I'm trying to explain to you no, how the I don't know. country will bear I don't the price. Know. The price Look, will be more. Why do you not let me finish? I don't know if he will do universal tariffs. That's not what I'm arguing. I'm saying Trump constantly says the tariffs are paid by China. He says that. That's false. You can only tax your citizens. So if he says the tariff is paid by China and not consumers, that's wrong. We first need to agree that it's wrong. Yes. Then, yes. then, yes. then yes. wait. Sits on their fucking hands. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Then, if we agree that what he said is wrong, because he he literally said like something analytically incorrect about a tariff, there could only be two possibilities. He's not aware of what a tariff is, in which case he's a fucking retard, or he knows what a tariff is, but he's lying to his voters. I think that's more likely. Nonfun thinks it's more likely that he's dumb. Okay, yeah. but either way, there are only there are only two possibilities. Once we agree that he was wrong analytically, analytically he was wrong about what a tariff is. There could only be two possibilities. Now I'm trying to get you to recognize that he was saying something wrong. Hang on. We're, like your your calculus is wrong here. Like when you're saying there can only hang on, let me, I was patient, bro. I was patient. Okay, like when you're saying there can only be two possibilities, that's mm. bullshit. Like you're you're. What is a lie? What is a lie? What is a lie? Wait, what is a lie? What is a lie? What is a lie? Wait, what is a lie? Do you know what a lie is? A lie is someone uttering a statement they know to be false intentionally. Okay. That's what a lie is. Me telling you your shitty haircut looks good. You know what I mean? Awesome. 
Well, that's what? a lie. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lie. Good example. Right? Correct. That would be a lie. Hey, that would be a lie. That would be you lying to me. That would be you lying to me. Great, great, great. I agree. We agree. A lie is uttering a false statement intentionally. Now, Trump either knows the definition of a tariff or he doesn't. That's a true dichotomy. If he knows the definition of a tariff and he said something false, then he said something false about the, about a tariff, knowing that it's false. He lied. If he doesn't know the definition of a tariff, well, that's reasonable to say he's fucking retarded. So it's either that he's retarded or that he's lying. Very simply, I just deduced it. Can I tell you a third option? What? Can I, hang on. I, what? Trump believes that the U.S. He's has such not funny. Is he a robot? Come on, come on, yeah, dude. he is. He is come lagging. You're a robot. Bit. You're a robot. You're just you're a robot. I'm not. I'm not trying to be an asshole. Uh, you're what a robot. Does that even mean? You sound like yeah, a robot because your internet. It's, it's like, uh, uh, well, I'm saying. Uh, let me turn my uh, off, then. Yeah. Whatever. Now it's fine. But go ahead. Okay. You, you understand? I, I am correct. There is a dichotomy here. There's no in between. Either the third option. Let me give you a third option. Third option yeah. is Trump believes that the, the buying power of America is so strong that the threat of tariffs will make action, will make moves. Will see because if you're if everybody's stagnant like you're saying, yes, the American people are fucked. Okay, the American people are going to pay. It's not my only argument. That's what I've been talking products. about more recently. Twenty yeah. percent tariff after we go through margin pricing, you're going to pay about forty percent more. So yes, you're right. You're fucked if the tariffs just if people sit still. But I don't think that's the goal, dude. I think Trump's goal is to make deals with that. Say, look, thanks, Peter. I, want I appreciate a it. Deal or I'm gonna fuck you like you're fucking me, okay? And I think that he's explaining this in a way that, like, I think that you're you're a heady dude. Nonfun is a heady dude. Y'all are into this, right? Uh, like most a couple of things. Uh -huh. A couple of things. <laughs> one, one, even if you say, even if you say, well, he'll do tariffs, and then it's gonna be paid by nobody because China will quiver so much that they'll like do free trade now or something. That's not. That's still what he said about tariffs is wrong. In the case that someone ends up paying the tariff, because in in the scenario you described, no one pays any tariffs. But in the scenario that someone does pay a tariff, it's never China, because China cannot pay a tariff. A tariff can only be imposed on your people. Now he said multiple times. I can read you from this. What? Let me finish, bro. Another point I want to raise. Another fucking kill me, bro. Another point I want to raise is that he already did tariffs. He was the president already. He already did tariffs. <laughs> they were paid by people in the US. It was not, it was not like some magic thing that made China like become a libertarian free trade country. It was a thing that made China, that, that made US customers pay. It, 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 it's what, oh, what we're yes, doing. Yes, I do. I remember just the rabid inflation we faced during his presidency. I Bro, remember why you paying, well, How does that, why, why, are you, are you, why, you, why are you pivoting? I was making why are you pivoting? 140 a year in 2018, and my weekly that, who, that's great. That's totally irrelevant. Again, it's again, listen to what I said. I, I need to collect a ton of clips. Yeah, listen to what I said again. I listen to what I said. Um, I have a uh, you, could, bit. you could say I'm wrong about the inflation effects of tariffs. You I'm could this. say I'm wrong about the jobs impact of tariffs. Still, the tariffs he did in, in, in when he was president were paid by people in the U.S. We agree on that. It was paid by people in the U.S. We agree. He did tariffs on washing machines. They were paid by people in the U.S. Right? Y yes. When he says tariffs are not paid by people in the U.S., it's paid by, by China. That's that's a lie, right? That's either a lie or he doesn't know what he did, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. It's, that's uh, just a video for brain I, rotted I viewers. I'm, uh, I'm not playing anything. No lie. Correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's what. That, okay. That's my position. I'm saying he's lying. I know he's I, I'm saying he's malicious and he's lying to people because he he's like capitalizing on ignorance. Non fun is more good to pay. Non fun. Non fun. Non fun. Well, non fun well, is more. To be clear, I also do think he's lying. I just am saying if I'm if I'm assuming good faith, then I wouldn't believe he's lying. Then I believe he's um yeah. Okay. yeah. So if someone were to assume, good, so now you need to understand, calling Trump a retard, that's the good faith position. Because the other position is that he's lying. That's more malicious. That's you assume bad faith. Right. The let good me, faith. Let me, flip this on you real quick, let me let me flip this on you real quick. I guess I want to counter the first point you said, where you were like, still, even if what you say, you know, we yeah, use it's the brass house again. If they're imposed, someone has to pay them, right? Uh, um, even to counter that, you still have the op uh, the possibility that you know you you get other vendors and that the company the country you're applying the tariff to, like say if we do have other vendors that we don't apply tariffs to that meet our standards to not be tariffed, and China loses that business, the only loss in the deal goes to the country we tariffed. 
if the American it's still, people it's still find paid by, no, 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 it's still paid by this. China. Let me just get yeah. the words. Understand. Let me just get the words out. If yeah, we find yeah. another vendor that we find palatable that we're not going to tariff, so yes, we apply the tariff on China, fifty percent, but we're doing business now with Indonesia with no tariff, and the prices are actually cheaper now. So the American people aren't paying more because no, no one's buying no, the fifty percent so, more expensive so shit. Everybody's buying yeah. the cheap shit. They're not buying a couple the things on that. So who loses? Who things. holds the L? A couple who things on that. A couple things on that. A couple things on that. Even if you say China will suffer, that's not them paying. They you no no logic. revenue. Just tell me you see my logic. I, let me finish. Criticizing your logic. So the first thing is, even if China suffers, like they, their business is closed or something, that's still not them paying. No revenue is getting generated kind of by the government. From China. Video. It's no, almost like parkour. Part, it's part, not beautiful enough. Let me finish. So first thing, that's that. Second thing is, no, definitionally, if a business closes in, closes in China, it's not going to be cheaper for U.S. customers. The reduced supply increases prices. Reduced supply increases prices. It's not the other way around. It can never. It, it's not the case that if a business closes, now stuff is cheaper. That's not how fucking economics works. I don't know how we compensate. What the fuck? Oh my god! So you, you, you non-fun. Think- is, my, is, my, is my blood pressure too high? Non-fun. Look, this is low. This is like no, insane. I mean, I, I understand why it's high. Yeah, it's a little cuckoo crazy. It's insane. Yeah. I don't think I said anything illogical. I think you're just like, Wait, upset. That that you're saying economics. Wait, if we have more supply, then prices decrease, right? You, but you're acting like we're gonna have less supply. We're not. You just said you just it. Said- this is closer than China. You just said the business closes. When the business closes, there's less supply. Let's let's produce less production. Of course, what you just said okay, in, the, so in your first scenario. Of all, first of all, yeah. I don't think I don't. First of all, you're just assuming that China is just also going to sit there on their laurels and just be a victim to all these policies. Okay, China is not going to like if we even an industry that we oh. dominate in China, right? If we quit buying from them, China will find other customers. Will find ways to keep that industry will not die. It just like it's it contracts every fucking year. Then prices will like, increase, like, but a tariff, like, like, tariff cannot reduce if, prices. Tariffs don't reduce that, prices. If 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 a business in my thank state you Peter for the sub, I really appreciate that it. Thank you so much. The company like there's it, prices are going to go up now because the business they didn't okay. give the work to is now not on the market. Like it, that doesn't make sense. Okay, that doesn't look, make sense. look, look. So so a couple things. One. I'm just right now trying to establish that when Trump says a, a tariff is not paid, like for example, here, let me quote you from this CNN article, okay? Uh, da, 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 da. Uh-huh. In September, he repeatedly claimed during an interview with Fox News, it's not a tax on the middle class, it's a tax on another country. Another time, uh-huh, uh, and then he said uh, during a rally in Wisconsin, it's not going to be cost to you, it's going to be a cost, a cost to another country. So he constantly says that tariffs are not paid by anyone in the U.S., they're paid by China, China, okay? That's what he says. That's, that's definitionally false. No Reven- there has never been a single dollar from the United States right. that has been generated by China. Never, ever. Right. It's never happened. This is never Wait, impossible just, because just, the, US just, have, the IRS that. has no jurisdiction over China. Okay, then l- let me just flip this on you then. Do you okay. have any metrics <laughs> that you could look at in the future that would make you say, okay, fuck, I see here? Because like, I think that you're just you to you. There's no possibility that anything I could say or anybody in the world could say that would make you think this is nothing okay. but a horrible idea. No, 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 no. no. I'm not saying horrible. Oh my idea. god, we're not making idea. a claim about. I'm not saying horrible idea. No, no, no. Again, again. You think you think I say you pay and that, that therefore that's bad. There are taxes I like. A land value tax is still paid by US by people in the United States. That's a tax that I think is fantastic. We need it so bad. Okay? So no, I'm not saying if it's good or bad. I'm not saying any normative conclusion. I'm just describing reality accurately. Right? If someone says a bachelor is a married woman, that's not there, there's no there's no something I could see that would convince me otherwise. It's definitionally incorrect to say that, right? So yeah, I could see data. I could see data. I could see data. I could see data. That was, I, I could see data. So a couple things. I could see data. I could see. I could see. I could see data that would make me think, oh, tariffs are good. I could see that. I don't think it's the case. There's no data that I've ever seen like that, and no economist agrees. But there could theoretically be data like that. There could never okay. be data. There could never be data that would tell me, oh, a tariff is paid by China. Then it's okay, not a tariff. If right. it's paid by China, it's not a tariff. Dude, you're right, dude. Okay, look, I'm just telling you, like, here's the deal. He's bullshitting, dude. Oh. Like, okay, you can, yes, he's lying, whatever you want to say. Like, I don't think it's as malicious as Why? you do. But think- yes, he's bullshitting. He is saying something okay. he's not, when he's giving a great speech, or not a great speech, like a speech to a big, great crowd from the grandstand. 
I don't think he's getting into fucking detail. I think he's bullshitting. He's capitalizing on ignorance. Just, yeah, it's bullshit, but it's, like, I think that you can see it as just horrible, but I think I've known a lot of rich people, and they all fucking talk in bullshit. You know what I mean? I think he's just bullshitting, and you're taking Well, no, I mean, I look at Mark Cuban, I look at Mark Cuban, and he seems very reasonable. I look at Mark Cuban, and he seems very reasonable. He's like, oh, well, it's Eric. You know what he's Tell me one lie. Tell me one lie he said about the pair. One lie. I'm wondering. You can't predict what's going to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm not up to speed on Mark. Bro, bro, bro. if he said, dude, okay, wait, wait, wait. Are you I against minimum been... wages? Are, are, you against, are you against price controls? Yes. To a degree. How do you know what's going to happen? Well, wait, you how do you know what's going to happen? happen? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, you know, wait, Kamala says she wants to do infinite price controls. How do you know what's going to happen? They're bad. How do you know what's going to happen? Uh, just supply and demand, human nature. Oh. <laughs> So we can't predict supply what's going to happen based on supply and demand. So when Trump, okay, so wait, wait, uh, wait. On the topic of price controls, just very quickly, what do you think about Trump's price controls? Which ones? Uh, well, <laughs> do you agree? In, in, he wants to he wants to cap the interest rates on credit cards. That's a price control. Bernie, that, that, that's a Bernie policy. He's more extreme than Bernie. Wait, to be clear, he's more extreme than Bernie on this. Bernie wanted to cap it to 15%. Trump wanted to cap it to 10%. He said he's going to do that. I don't know if he will, but he wants to. I mean, look, I, I think there's probably some bullshit in that. I think I think it's probably... Mm. I think you're... you're, And you can argue this how you want, if it's good, bad, horrible, but I think, you know, he's just talking out his fucking ass. Okay. Just we nuke a fucking hurricane, dude. I don't. You know what I mean? I like, just, it, 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 <laughs> I agree. He's been saying he's saying. Well, <laughs> in the I think he might be actually a bum. I think it was a hurricane. Don't you know anybody dumb. like that? No. Don't you know anybody like that? That like? Uh, yeah, I know a lot of dumb people. You know, I try not to talk to rapists, so I don't know anyone like Trump. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got him. Look, I mean, whatever. I just. It's just look, 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 look. So think, when he no, but the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, he like he already did tariffs. So there is no universe in which he's like he's either monumentally retarded that he did policy and he doesn't even know what the fuck that tariffs? is. What were the negative impacts of his tariffs? Because I had a family to it take care things, of. It made things more. It, it made things more expensive. It didn't yeah, bring it that increased prices. Increase prices, it, increase it, prices it, for consumers and hurt American jobs and decrease productivity. Okay. Yeah, well, here, here. Let's not, let's not, I can, I can walk you through it. I can walk you through it. Wait, wait. I can, I can walk you through it. No, I don't care. I don't care why we lost. I'm trying. I'm right now. I'm not playing politics. I'm just describing reality accurately. Okay. So he did tariffs on steel. He does. Okay. Do you want me to like walk you down why tariffs on steel are bad? Like we, we, we can understand that very simply. It's very simple sure. economics. Sure. So first of all, a tariff makes the thing, the, the commodity, more expensive. That's definitionally true. Right? Yeah. It makes the commodity more expensive because either either you you buy it through imports, which are now more expensive because it's a, it's a tax on imports is going to increase the price of imports. So either you import it, which is going to make it, make it more expensive, or the businesses move to the United States and then they're going to make it more expensive because if they could produce it for cheaper in the United States, they would have done it already. Okay? Correct. So Correct. either... Either so, so no matter what you the the thing that you tariff is gonna increase the price is gonna like be more expensive. Now, when you do a tariff on steel, steel is not just like a final commodity. It's used by so many other things. In, in fact, for every job that works in ter in steel manufacturing, there are eighty eighty jobs that work in 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 industries that consume steel. Therefore, if you make steel more expensive, you maybe protect some jobs that produce steel in the United States, but you hurt 80 times more jobs, right? Because now yeah, the things is, that they yeah. require to produce stuff is more expensive. They're, they can employ less people. So, so all so in all, you hurt a lot more people the, than you help. What were the verifiable consequences? Like, let's like zoom out now and look at yeah. America as a whole. Because I don't think that Trump is just president of the steel market, right? Let's Now let's zoom out. And say Trump did this pretty much day one. He ran on the shit, right? Like this was implemented. Like well, he did tariffs on and he did the tariffs on steel in 2018. He did the mm -hmm. tariffs on steel in 2018. Was it 2018? It wasn't 2017. Steel and aluminum 20. was 2018. I thought he did it right out the gate, but I could be wrong. I'm well, you can only do it. You can you can do a tariff for uh, like, when the president when the president issues a tariff. Wait, when a president issues a tariff. What if let's, president let's issues a tariff by... What were the, what were the consequences? Like, because well, we have to decrease productivity. 
Yeah, I can, I can, no, to, to be clear, I don't think you'll accept any of these studies. I guarantee you're just going to say these are like woke studies or whatever. But yeah, there's a, like I can cite multiple things, papers at you. Just, things were worse under Trump than they are now. Does that, right? wait, well, that's not how it works. Holy that's shit, it that's works. an unbelievably <laughs> retarded statement. To be clear, I don't think having tariffs precludes the ability of the economy being good. I don't think having tariffs even precludes the ability of the economy being better under Trump than it does yeah, under than it does under Biden. It makes it makes the economy less good than it would have been. Exactly. Okay? We can, we, we have, yeah. Look, look, I believe there are good if, reasons to believe if, that. If, if Trump went to a certain factory in the United States and just bombed it, like the U.S. economy would not be affected that much, right? Like if he goes to fucking Wisconsin and bombs like one factory, I mean, production in Georgia is not going to change. Production in Pennsylvania is not going to change. Like the U.S. economy will not. What he did was bad, but the economy will still be good. Okay, and then it's gonna be still better than after fucking COVID, where every country on earth had massive inflation. Okay, so like that's a bad metric. It just like was it better or worse four years ago? Therefore, everything we did necessarily is better or worse, right? We have studies, we have careful designs, uh, we have economists who train in statistics and economics for like years of their life to get they, they gave for this. Okay, so what, what, kind of, what kind of inflation rates do we have under Trump? Like, Holy like, you know shit! What I mean? no, I'm we can see immediately after employing let's, the tariffs let's, on. No, let's 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 well, go. Let's stop COVID. COVID never happened. Let's go to to November 2019, and let's go back 40 fucking presidents or however far you want wait, to go. Wait, back. wait, wait. Uh, right now, right now, I'm just saying. Right now, I'm just saying. You don't. You don't have an education. I'm not trying to be demanding. I don't have a formal education in economics. You don't have a formal education. You know who does? The people who wrote the studies looking at the impacts of Trump's tariffs. Right, so no, non fun can look at these studies. Non fun can say people can... wrote studies. Okay, dude, go look at all the fucking predictors from 2007. Go look at every goddamn economic fucking study that you can look at from 2007 before 2008 happened. They were all yeah. fucking wrong. They were no, all... that's not how it works. That's not, that's no. not what I'm saying. I'm not saying <laughs> they predict stuff to be good. We look at the impact of policy. Okay, again, if Trump went and they just bombed the factory. If, they if, Trump, the if Trump, they we agree, wait, wait, do we agree? Do we agree that if Trump right now bombed a, a factory in I don't know in, in Wisconsin, then the economy will still be good, right? It's not like we're gonna have a recession if he does that, right? So does that does that mean what he did was good? No. If he bombs a factory in Wisconsin, the economy right, will still yeah, improve, yeah, but, that's not what I'm but it's not gonna be good. That's yeah. Not what so I'm, I'm saying your methodology is, is dumb. The methodology of just let's look at the entire he did some certain policy let's look at the entire economy that he did that policy and the year he like after therefore it was bad or good like that's not how we measure things in economics that's not a good way at all like yeah, uh, instead we do actual we do, multi we do multivariable regressions we do multi we already agreed we already agreed that tariffs increase the price of the commodity so i don't know why you talk about the overall inflation rate in the economy okay, when we the, the, the Hoover, okay y'all remember what led to the dodd frank act no no. Okay. Well, Nor do I care. I mean, you know, that was in 28, right? 2008. It, well, the, the crash of 2008 led to it. 2010, I believe, is when it was enacted. Or, uh, yeah, 2011. Trump repealed it. Are you but talking about the tariffs before the Great Depression? Or what are you, what are you talking about? It was created because all of these fucking pros and, and economists that you're talking about, 2006, 2007, were screaming that fucking money is cheap. Couldn't be fucking cheaper. Bye, bye, bye. Expanding. What act expanding. are you talking about? What act are you talking about? The Dodd Frank Act. It Dodd was, Frank. It, what it was? It was. It was. A, it was a bullshit. It, it's not that important, but it was created because of the the 2008 crash. Okay. And what happened with the 2008 okay. crash is I, I'm not going to get into the nuances of it, but the, you know they're they're fucking with mortgage default swaps, packaging them, and they, it, you know the small banks didn't give a fuck because big banks bought it, and all the people like you were saying, hey. Let's let this happen. We don't need to regulate finance. We need to let the like. Wh who cares if these big banks want to buy these shitty loans? Who cares? You this know, wasn't who gives a fuck? 2010. Wait, this I, was I just I just want to ask. Like, do you think there's a difference between trying to make predictions and just observing evidence from the past? Because what I'm talking about is observing evidence no, from the what past. I'm is, like again, like 2008 market crash was unprecedented, right? The, no, but the, 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 the Dodd Frank Act. I'm looking at it on Wikipedia. It was from 2010. But it was and so, so a couple of things. Okay, yeah. Like so, you don't yeah. know what's gonna happen. Like this is an unpre. So all your facts and figures. Wait, wait, wait. Because this what he's talking about now is truly unprecedented. Right now, We're I don't want to. Wait, wait, wait. Can we just so put those, aside for a second what will happen? That's how we know. That's how I know you never read a study. A study doesn't make predictions. That's not what a study does. Exactly. It looks at evidence from the past and examines the cause.
causal impact of certain policies. That's how a study works. It's never, it's you never see a study, that's a report. You're going to see maybe reports or like sometimes, like hypothetically, you're going to find like a policy paper that says like, hypothetically, we predict that if you deregulate zoning laws, you're going to see a 12% increase. Something like that, right? That's like you can see stuff like that. But overall, when studies are in, in, analyzing the impacts of policies, they already look at data that we have, right? Like they 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 plug it into the models and they see the the effects of stuff. So a couple things. One, the Dodd Frank Act was in 2010. I don't know how you say it caused the Great Recession if it was after the Great no, Recession. No, 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 it was a reaction to it. Okay, good, whatever. I mean, the Great Recession <laughs> arguably happened because of deregulation of banking, not because of regulation of banking. Um, yes. Like the gla no, Glass-Steagall. Glass-Steagall. Glass I mean, there, there's literally a picture of Bush from 2003 Dude, okay. of, of them cutting the red tape. Like they, they, had, like, they had a chainsaw. They had a... Oh, my God. Not deregulation. Okay, whatever. Either way. Either way. What? Either way, either like, way, like, that has nothing to do with what I'm saying. It's like, look, it's just, it's just, when we have studies on minimum wages or like on price controls, right? Like rent control. Rent control is horrible policy, terrible policy. And we know that from the studies. The studies don't make prediction. They don't, they don't say, oh, if California did right now, it did rent control, then blah, 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 we predict some bad stuff. Sure. That, that's like, that's still a good argument against rent control, but sure. still, that would be, but that's not we, a have, we have actual evidence pressure. of what happens. Rent control, when is, Trump, rent control has been applied in, in high urban density, population dense areas forever. That's not And tariffs have been, yeah, and tariffs have been, yeah, been no, implemented by American Trump. American tariffs with this economy is novel. Bullshit. It is novel. What? <laughs> Trump already did tariffs. We know that you asked for the impacts of, you asked, you asked, you asked, you asked, you asked, you asked for the, you asked, you asked for the tariffs that Trump already did. You asked what, what was the impact of the tariffs that Trump already did? So we have the yes, studies on that. Have, not not oh my it did god! Not negatively and, impact the economy. Wait, let's can we, we talk about that then? Do we, wait, Brassman, do you accept the fact that the what the for example the tariffs that Trump placed on washing machines increased the price of washing machines? Do you accept that? Yes. He already said he would, right? Yeah, he needs to accept that it makes it more expensive, I know, I know. but it hurts. So we we have so, so look, we have studies on tariffs. They reduce productivity. When you reduce productivity, you reduce wages. They reduce employment. That means they create more employment. They re they increase inequality. They reduce exchange rate. Uh, they increase exchange rates, which hurts exports. Okay, because also like exchange rates move in the opposite way, uh, in the negative direction of the tariff. Yeah. Okay, whatever. But bullshit theory there. And, and, and they also make stuff more expensive. I mean, it's just, and they reduce growth. It's just like tariffs. We have studies yeah. on this. We have massive studies. If, from you're, like, if you're just if you're just looking at it like a fucking bureaucrat. What? You're, it's you're, economic, it's professor. It's, 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 it's economists. It's economists who gave years of their life. It's economists. We're done with that shit. The country voted against what? the fucking nerd shit. Listen, here's what's going on. So it's true, bro. <laughs> He's saying we're big I agree. That guy's like, the, the, the public is anti-intellectual. I agree. I agree with you. The public is anti-intellectual. It doesn't mean it's good. I don't care that people voted against what I what I offer. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. No, it does. Because, like, what I'm saying <laughs> is it's bullshit. It, it, what, what do you mean people voted and people have voted against, against you in the past? What do you mean? Do you think you're wrong about yeah, everything? So like, for one, people voted in favor of Biden. Second thing, people voted in favor of Hitler. Winning an election doesn't mean... I don't care if someone won an election. It doesn't, it doesn't mean their description of reality is accurate. You're, you're, look, he's using the power of America. He's using the market for, for our benefit. It's unprecedented. <laughs> Whenever he first came to office, he was doing targeted oh. fucking terrorists. He was a game show host. He didn't know what the fuck he's doing. Now he's an eight-year okay. veteran of politics. He awesome. knows what the fucking game is. This is unprecedented. You can't right. predict. Well, it, it seems like he doesn't know because he's lying about tariffs. Or I guess he, he knows and he's lying. But either way, look, I don't look. He, Trump cannot like bend space time. He can also similarly yeah. not bend the supply and demand. <laughs> Supply and demand <laughs> is a lot of economics. We can observe it. We can draw the graphs. See, tariffs I, hurt how people. Are we decreasing the supply. Tariffs, tariffs? decrease the supply. Well, okay. Uh, no, you want to no, learn no, about no, it? Here's why, here's tariffs why we disagree. Decrease, on this. Here's why we tariffs, disagree on this. Tariffs Let decrease the supply something. by one making ha making us have less imports. Right? If we have less imports, we have less of the thing. So there's less supply of that thing. Second of all, they make the, the, now that the thing is more expensive, people have less money to spend in the economy, which hurts jobs. So that now we have less jobs, less supply. That these are two ways in which tariffs. And then it, 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 intermediary goods jobs. too. If you tariff intermediary goods and yes. like steel, you reduce supply of other things because you know you need steel to manufacture yes. shit. Yes, exactly. 
Yeah. Like if no, housing, if housing became more expensive, that here, hurts the supply the of other things. Here's the yeah, discussion. Uh, I think that you guys are just looking at this on paper and you're not taking into account that people are going to make moves. Like that's the part where you're just <laughs> missing it. You just think that someone's gonna, like the, like the market factors are going to change and everybody's just going to say, "Oh well, oh well, I guess we just pay more now. We're not going to figure this out." That's not our out. position. If someone could, clear, if someone could make something, it would, so for one, you already agreed it's going to be more expensive. So everyone will say we're going to they pay okay. more now. So that's okay. the first thing. Second thing is, second thing is, if so, if there was a way to do tariffs incorrectly, why has it never happened in the past? Why are we see never in the data? That's that. You can only can appeal right to demagoguery. Now. I can answer that right what? now. I can answer yeah. that question right now. Yeah. Let's take yeah. a company. Let's take a company that does five million dollars in business a year, but it's ran horribly, horribly. Okay. Right. And they and they're operating on like a five percent profit margin, but could be if I put non-fawn in charge of it, and non-fawn made the right decisions. Yeah, that's because we have very little data. Hey, hey, that's where he's just he made, yeah, he so. around, and all of a sudden the company's now profitable as fuck. Why didn't mm -hmm. they? No, but if we if we have the same, I agree, agree, I agree, it's possible. I agree. Look, but if we have the now, imagine we have the same country on uh, the same company on every country through multiple administrations throughout history and every every one of them did a variation oh my god i'm cutting out i'm cutting out yeah you were cutting out okay i'm back okay i'm back now imagine that we have the same company on every in every country on earth and it's 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 like it, it, it has the same policy and it, we have it through multiple administrations and all of all countries on human history uh, through human history and they all did a variation of that policy, and it never shows up in the data that it had good effects. We have theory against the idea of that policy. That's a good argument against, like, if a new guy steps up and says, I'm going to do it better now, it's like, no, no, no one did it before. Like, no, no, it's against common sense. Tariffs are bad. We have the studies. Uh, you know, like, we have, we have, there wouldn't be an American. We have, studies, that we have studies. We have studies on tariffs that look at over 150 fucking countries and over 50 years of data. Okay, you understand how gigantic that is? And they make a very clear conclusion tariffs hurt employment they increase inequality they reduce wages and they reduce uh, employment they just they're like, it's very simple it's economics 101 you, you learn what you think economists what do you think economists were saying before the you know the assembly line before ford got the assembly line going and manufacturing really took the fuck off what do you think i don't think they had studies or, i don't <laughs> yeah. think before i don't, I don't <laughs> think before i don't think, think, think oh think my god you asked before the assembly question, line you can't do observational you studies on the effects of the you assembly asked line me a question. let me finish answering your question i said two things you let me finish right you asked me what did economists say before ford had like his assembly line well i don't think they had studies on assembly lines from over 150 countries and over 50 years of data if they had that I would say, yeah, they probably said like it's gonna be good because that's you what it ended, ended up being. We 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 have studies on tariffs from more than 150 countries. I have and a ton of studies on data. tariffs I can cite, What's our like GDP per pop per capita. What's our GDP per capita? Like 50 in, something in the US, thousand. I don't it's know. Like, it's like 60k. It's like 75k. 84k. 84 it could be. Let me let me see. US GDP per capita. I want to 81. say 81. Okay. I, I said who's, 75. Who's I was two? kind of off. Okay, who's whatever. Two? Who's number what? two? Who's number uh, two? Yeah. I would assume. We have the same numbers here. Who's number uh, two? Wait, I don't think the US I, is even two. one in GDP per capita. Number two is, I think, Luxembourg, right? Luxembourg yeah. is like super. There are, there, there are like, like tax Ireland, havens that are higher Ireland, GDP Ireland per capita. Has, Ireland. Ireland has a very low corporate tax, uh, so a lot of corporations move to Ireland and it inflates their GDP artificially. Well, like, you, but I think, you, I think it's Luxembourg. For any kind of sizable population, right? Like, you, you take. Why are you asking of, this? Why are you asking I'm, this? We have. Okay, because here's why this is unprecedented. The reason that you can have all the economic studies for the 150 years and the wealth of that is worth fuck all is because you have right now a customer that is 330 million people, $84,000 deep a piece in their pockets, okay? If they want to make a what? fucking deal, you come to the table and say, what do I got to do, daddy? It's not Bro, you're not the only one saying this. That's not how economics works. When you go to economic, when you go to economic, 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 I let you finish. I, I let you finish. I let you finish. When you go to Economics 101, they don't say, okay, well, now the policymaker just comes into the room and says, well, let, let's look at the P's in the, in the pockets of the consumers. <laughs> That's not how people talk. That's not how economics is. You never find this in a textbook. That's not serious analysis of policy.
Well, no, we're talking economics. We're talking about implementing taxes as policy. Economics is the language of policy. Yes, right? if we're talking, talking policy, we're business, talking economics. Gonna respond. What? And that's what's going to affect the market. All you realize, like, a basic supply and demand market. model show, like, the I'm supply and demand model for tariffs shows businesses responding and building more industry here. Like, that's what the supply and demand model shows. It shows there's going to be more quantity supplied domestically. Like, the, like the, the there's supply. There's no models for this. There's no models for. You never read. Wait, 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 wait. You don't pause, know pause, any models. Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Not fun, not fun. One second, one second. Wait, uh, the guy, can you define comparative advantage? Do you know what that is? Comparative advantage, like. Uh, uh, honestly, I don't know. I'd have to just take context clues to kind of okay. determine what that. Do you know what? Do you know what production possibilities frontier is? Do you know what a possible uh, production possibilities frontier is? Production possibilities frontier, like the ability for like a third world country to be developed to produce. Do you know? Do you know what? Uh, do exchange no, rate? Know. If, wait, wait, if, if the dollar is if the dollar is stronger, if the dollar is stronger, is that good for exports? Yeah, we're done with Fabian. We, we already not chatted. Exports. That would hurt exports. Okay, that, one of the three questions. Yeah, one of the three right. I don't Thank know you. why you confidently talk. I don't know why you confidently talk about trade economics when you don't know the basic terminology of the of the of the field. Don't do talk about it. Just say I don't know. So, like, okay, if you're asking me, if we make if if the dollar is higher, does it help our exports? Obviously, fucking not, because it costs us more money to pay people to make shit. And more yeah, money that, than they that's right. Yeah. You got so that right. You got that answer uh, right. No, 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 no. You got that. You're asking. The you're asking. You got. You got that one question right. But when we look, look, when you open anything, look, when you read anything, I think pro probably every article I ever read about trade mentioned comparative advantage, right? When you go into com into trade economics, they're going to mention comparative advantage. That's the most basic, like, the, like uh, idea. In any Wait, in let me let me fucking finish. So when you open and like when you read anything about trade economics, comparative advantage is like the most basic concept. The fact that like you confidently talk about how the the field is taught and the concepts in the field, and you have very strong opinions about policy that the field has studied extensively, and you don't know anything about the field, shows that you don't care about the don't try to play this game about like I'm actually right on the field. No, you've never read anything from it. That's why you're wrong. Yeah, because it's not theory to me. And also to say it's that we don't we don't have models that explain this when you don't even you can't even name any of the models like I'm a capitalist okay like this isn't theory to me like I am a capitalist okay yeah, I'm just theory capitalist. too <laughs> I'm here I'm here there are so many capitalists who are economically illiterate I'm a capitalist as well coming out of my fucking checking account to pay payroll taxes for my staff no look like, look, 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 look 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 I don't care I don't care about that I don't care look I'm also a capitalist. I don't in talk. What way? I don't look. Shut up. If How someone is, oh my god, my god, let me finish my example. Someone can be a capitalist in the sense that they support capitalism, but still they should not have strong opinions or at least like debate people about trade economics if they don't know the basics of the field. Similarly, I'm not a, I'm not a biologist. I'm never going to debate a biologist on evolution because I don't know what an enzyme is. Do you know what an enzyme is? Probably not. So don't enter a debate about evolution if you don't know what an enzyme is. Similarly, no, I do know economics. Like, here's what that's a, that's a bullshit statement. That's a bullshit statement because we're I not believe talking about. Wait, 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 wait. I believe in evolution. I don't know. I don't know how to define like. Well, I know how to define an enzyme. I'm lying, but like it's perfectly fine for someone to believe in evolution and not define an enzyme. But if you're gonna challenge the consensus, the consensus of biology, and you don't even know what an enzyme is, I'm not gonna take your position seriously. Not, we're not talking about biology. We're talking about fucking. We're talking it's about an analogy, shit. brother. <laughs> it's an analogy. Okay, it's an analogy. Got the end of the game on this. Everybody engages in the fucking market every day. I don't. Everyone think also has said. a body. They said. are biological that's beings. It doesn't mean they know anything said. about biology, hey, listen, dumbass. Listen again. Listen again. Listen again. Listen again. Listen again to what I said. Listen again to what I said. Wait. Listen again to what I said. You just let me finish this. You. I asked you. Do you know what comparative advantage is? Which is the most basic thing in like trade economics? You said no. Fine, you don't have to know it, but you also have positions that go completely against the consensus of trade economics. Now, let's make an analogy. If you have someone that disagrees with evolution and they don't know what an enzyme is, there's no problem in not knowing what an enzyme is. There's a problem not knowing the basics of biology and then going completely against the consensus of biology. No one should take that position seriously. Let me, let me can, I, can I counter that? Yeah. Let's just say, because like, Obviously, I knew what it was, right? Like, I didn't, I don't know your definitions. 
But like, I think it was very clear that like, I'm not in deep waters here in this conversation. And I completely understand the concept without any other, it's not like you had to fucking get the whiteboard out and explain this to me. Like I intuitively and inherently knew what the fuck you were talking about just because I didn't know your fucking definition. Doesn't mean I don't have an understanding. What do you think comparative advantage is? Comparative advantage? It sounds to me like like the, the market factors giving you an edge, like either like because of the cheap labor or because of the availability of resources or even perhaps maybe infrastructure, you know, possibilities that give you an advantage over international competition, which could either hurt or fucking help industry is what I would assume. I know, I'm just kind of, of, kind of. Kind of, you got it. Kind of, but again, it's a guess. guess. Again, and again, if I if I define to you, I agree. I agree. And a polypeptide probably is a chain of peptides. Like I'm just, just guessing, right? But it's still you don't have the because um, this isn't theory. And like this, it'd be one thing. Oh my god! Why? Why did I let you finish when you don't let me finish? I should stop doing that. I should stop doing that. I should stop doing that. I should stop letting you finish. I should stop letting you finish when you don't let me finish. I let you finish. Why do you not extend the same charity? Come on. I let you finish. Okay, but let me finish. So I don't know. Like, you can kind of guess what a polypeptide is. You can you can kind of guess it, right? Like you can you can like it, you you may know like the like whatever a bunch of things like a lot of things in biology are kind of self-explanatory. My God, my God. Still. It's it, there's a problem in not knowing the basic theory of it of a field and going completely fragrantly against the consensus of that field. You know who does who who does know deeply the definitions of comparative advantage? All the trade economists. You know we have polls of economists and what do they say about like tariffs? Oh, they say they fucking suck. So why do you have a position completely contrary to theirs when you don't know even what they studied? But no, but I clearly did know, right? Even though I didn't know the word competitive advantage, the theory of it, I clearly knew, right? Like, we're not... not really. guess, wait, 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 wait. What I could is guess opportunity what a polypeptide cost? is. I could guess what a polypeptide is. It doesn't mean I know what it is. You know, I don't... You don't know how comparative advantage works. You can guess what the definition is. What is production possibilities, Frontier? You got that completely wrong. I, hang on. I swear to God, I want to guess this one. Opportunity cost. Mm -hmm. That sounds like... No, that would be like acquisition opportunity cost. Is that like the cost of like taking advantage of like an economic opportunity? No, no, kind of. So a couple things. A couple things. So one, one, you didn't even you didn't know what a produ production possibilities frontier is, right? You got you said about something about third world country. Well, let me finish. Thank you. So you didn't know what it is. You get all. Oh, let me finish. So you guessed that production possibilities frontier has something to do with third world countries. It doesn't, right? So you didn't you didn't clearly know what things are. You didn't. You didn't. So let's let's stop that silly well, game. An opportunity cost. An op oh my god. An opportunity cost. An opportunity cost is like the difference between what could have been and what you like the outcome of what you did, right? So for example, for example, I could like employ non fun right and maybe i benefit a little bit but it could have been that if i didn't employ non fun i would have benefited a lot more so the there was an opportunity cost there even though i benefited like i, I would have benefited even more so like the difference between what could have been and what actually happened that's the opportunity cost right that's yeah it's what like it the means. cost of like the next best alternative for your use of t resources yeah. or time or whatever yeah. yeah like profits you didn't make Kind of, sure. Kind of, kind of. Yeah, it's like it's like the difference in what you could have, what you, what you could have had. It's, it's like the cost that you pay in losing an opportunity. That's kind of like the, the intuition you should have for. It. But either way, either way. So you have this strong opinion about economics. Opportunity cost is even more basic than comparative advantage because comparative advantage is defined it's based in on terms opportunity, of opportunity cost. cost. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. So if you have this strong position about evolution and you cannot define to me an enzyme. Why should I take you seriously? Similarly, if you have this strong position on trade and you don't know the basics, when we have entirety, like we have multiple studies done by PhDs who gave fucking years of their life just to expand human knowledge, and they came with clear conclusions all across the board, and we just throw that into the garbage because we lost an election, that's not how it fucking works. That's not how serious people think. I can answer that. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so the reason that, like, even though, like, I'm a high school dropout, boys. I, you know, I'm, I was alone. I was on my own. It's, I was homeless. Fuck, sixteen. Like I'm, I literally dropped out of school at sixteen. You know, so I am uneducated, but you know, also a millionaire. And uh, 
I like I'm coming at this from a perspective of I do business, and I'm telling you, like th- four years ago, I was a manager for a larger company, and my perspective completely changed once I actually started buying and selling products and actually became a capitalist and actually had money to invest and see like I started my company with seven thousand dollars in the first year did over two million and you get uh-huh. perspective on that that like it completely changes you I swear to you like it like so like you see things you didn't see before and so whenever I see these tariffs I would have potentially before like as a big time like previous former conservative and, and mind you making money has made me more liberal. I was a very I'll tell you, I'll tell you this much. I'll tell you this much. Look, I came back from Florida a month ago. My mom's uncle, I met him, like we went to his house and whatnot. Super rich guy from Miami has his own tower in Miami, okay? Very rich guy. We talked. That guy said that the Fed should have cut interest rates by 25 basis points, not 50, okay? (laughs) Was it 500 or or, wait, was it it 25 or 250? Um, um, uh, 25 yeah. yeah 25 that's wrong i think that like that's completely wrong like i have professional economists like celebrating that they cut by phone i'm not saying this is a scientific thing but like look the fact that you're rich maybe you have some grasp of the topic but still you should be cautious in the face of like people who gave fucking years of their life to study it there's no economist like, or like very few you think that, like Look, you ever heard, if, like, you the, your position is correct, like, if your position is correct, if your, if your position is correct, look, no matter how much you make, you cannot, like, it doesn't mean you know how studies work. Because it's, you, not even about, it's not even about how much I make, it's about the fact that, like, I'm on the nuts and bolts side of the of the economy, right? And not, so, a, like, not, a, not on the nuts and bolts of science. <laughs> uh, me, like, we have, make, we have study design. Make, let me make one argument to you. Let me make one argument yeah, to ahead, you to see ahead, where you yeah, see where land here. Yeah, okay? yeah, I'm with Like, it's the classic argument of, like, engineers for auto manufacturers and mechanics there's like tiktoks full of videos of like you know the engineer fucking hates us and shit right because the engineer has all these studies and all this research and shit and it's just you know but then whenever we actually go from paper to car shit ends up being a little fucky and the mechanic the guy who actually put it together sees things differently than that guy and so me as a guy that's actually in the field buying and selling and making shit happen like i see this as opportunity i see it as nothing but opportunity okay you know, I don't. Now, if we had, how do you, how do you, do you trust vaccines? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Okay, for the most part. Okay, so why, like, do you do you find it persuasive when people are like, look, I'm I'm actually in the alternative the health industry, like I actually like do this stuff and I actually feel better. When you have a study that like is very comprehensive and shows like the opposite of what they're saying, like, look, life experience. Can give you some intuition. Maybe you, you even like helped save some people's lives, so you have some kind of grasp of anatomy. But it's still, I'm gonna dismiss that opinion when you have a super comprehensive study going over 50 years of data in 150 countries, right? Do, do, Especially well, done by people who gave years of their life for that. This, though, dude, we have like a mass example of this with COVID recently. Like all of the all of academia pulled together. And, like, yeah. Well, like, let's not even waste our time because do y'all think there was any? The, the vaccine was good. For me. The studies were right. <laughs> they, they were right. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, quacks. Meanwhile, we had quacks selling you fucking ivermectin and and uh, uh, uh fuck uh, chromocrine. What's the, what's the I'm name? talking about the shit that yeah. they did find out. Yeah, I yeah, don't know. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not one of those guys that even tries to pretend like I'm gonna fucking argue about drugs. Like I don't. I don't fucking know. I don't. Okay. And I'm not like. Good. Okay. Not, well, yeah. What I am saying is, is that like they like all the research came out. And it was verified that, like, the cloth masks were essentially useless and the social distancing yeah. was essentially useless. And the closure okay. of schools caused significantly more harm. than no, the lockdowns, the lockdowns was a, that, that's, that's another thing. I'm talking about, like, the study of a specific well, medication. Well, that's what I'm is, is, like, all the studies, yeah. we're going by your argument. If it's 2020, we should have done. No, 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 no. You're you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. There was not a single study. There was not a single study about lockdowns because that was a novel thing. We didn't have studies about lockdowns. Okay. Well, and and the vaccine, the masks, the masks, the masks, the masks, the masks, the masks, the masks work it. We had a study. Like we know how COVID COVID spreads. The masks help. Johns Hopkins debunked it. Johns Hopkins or whatever. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. They debunked it themselves. Their fucking own people said it, it has been proven ineffective. An N95 or greater works, not a fucking cloth mask. Like, it is, that has been debunked thoroughly. Thoroughly. Uh, uh, that's not, nope, I don't think so at all. 
But well, see, oh, but how are you going to disagree with all the academia now? You how you, how you've turned into me, study. dude. You didn't <laughs> send me the study. You just said Sean Shopskins. You didn't send the study. Show me the study saying actually masks don't well, reduce spread. Like, okay, do you, all right. So you don't think they that like the you don't believe that the mask man? I'm looking at like fifty Google results. They, they, had, had, they do reduce all, spread. They. Uh, it was proven to not be true. It was proven like Sweden, Sweden fucking didn't do shit. They Sweden, didn't do yeah, shit. Sweden got especially hard. Sweden got hit especially hard. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Is, like, no, they did not, dude. Their numbers were fucking awesome. like below me, and then they they recovered faster than everybody else. Also, they, they did, did wear masks around. in Sweden. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. They did wear masks in Sweden. What I'm saying is, is they were wrong on a lot of that shit, and they've been proven wrong. And if you actually go back and do the research okay. and like unbiased look at what all the experts said, like you're saying to do now, they were fucking wrong. And if you go back and you make all the, you look at all these. Here, wait, models, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Here, here here january 11th 2021 okay a rev an evidence review of face masks against covid19 okay right that's the bullshit test. Test. give me that's the bullshit, bullshit one that's, that's the bullshit one you're reading debunked research thank you what name the authors the shit came out like it was fucking all over fucking no, you don't even know. <laughs> okay let's look at, let's look, I'll, I'll look i'll look at this john's so why do you trust this study, but you don't trust okay. any of the studies on tariffs? Like, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, I, 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 I trust like the real and like the real life experience. You know what I mean? Like, why the I, fuck I, would I, I trust real life experience it, over it, an it, actual it, like it, study? I'm o I opened right now, right now on Google. Face masks types and when to use from Johns Hap Johns Hopkins Me Hopkins. My God, Johns Hopkins Medicine. Okay. Right? Yeah. First line from January 11th, 2024, okay? Face masks provide protections against tra transmissions of respiratory viruses. Additional st steps to help the spread of... Re re oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I cannot read. Additional steps to help the spread of respiratory viruses include hand washing, respiratory etiquette, and avoiding others when you are sick. Seems like the first line literally says... Social distancing and wearing masks. We know that works. I don't I know of any study. I told you the wrong one. The one that came out the is is Oxford. Oxford study. Oxford. Right okay. Yeah, yeah, you know uh, your shit. You know your shit. Zellinger, Nadine, Bruno Vizcaya. Link it, link it, link it, link it. I don't know what to spell them. Link it, link it. Just link it. But they said uh effectiveness of cloth face masks to prevent viral spread, a meta analysis. The effectiveness of cloth face masks to prevent viral spread has not yet been conclusively established. Wait, I, I just, I just fucking opened here, here. here. Hey, this is from 22nd of May. Spread. This is from... Wait, say that again? Say that again? They basically say that the cloth masks were found to be ineffective compared to fucking N95 and did not slow the spread. Wait, cloth masks or are you talking about the normal masks? Cloth mask, Like, any mask that's not an N95. Okay, maybe. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. that I was claiming that mask like, normally. I mean, like, that was, there, was, there was a lot of... The school closures thing, has been, and that one I don't think you'll argue with me on. Like, they had all... like this, the, There was all types of research that said we had to close the schools, and it was, it was the, the right the thing blue to do. Mask, it have, are you saying even huh? the blue masks were bad? Are you saying even the blue masks? The blue... What do you mean blue mask? Yeah, the normal yeah, masks. The everyone masks were not in 95. They were not in 95. Don't, don't, can't you have in 95? I just, I just here another thing. Another thing. This is from 2024. Okay, 22nd of May 2024. New comprehensive review provides strong evidence that masks and and respirators effectively reduce the transmission of respiratory inf infections like COVID-19, based on an analysis of over 400 studies from multiple what disciplines. Date? What date? What date? 2024. May 2024. Bullshit. This year. Oh, that yeah, one's bullshit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that one's bullshit. Okay. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. They the schools, so they should have closed the schools? That, wait, can that you is not, do, that's wait, not wait, the wait, argument wait, we're wait, making wait, right wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. Just before, before we do this, before we do this, Mr. Expert on studies about, uh, like, uh, and, uh, what, what's the name? Fucking like virology. Fucking expert of virology. Can you, can you, like, what is a... Uh, What's what, the, are you what's a fucking expert in it? How do you know fucking better no, than me? No, no, that's why I defer to academic consensus. Yeah, no, that, no. 
No. Okay, great. Wait, wait, wait. No. <laughs> what is the R not? What is an R not of a disease? What is an R not? Bro, I want to leave. I don't care about the core conversation. I want to leave. 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 I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. Said they should, and that was fucking wrong. You know what I mean? Okay. Wait. All the economists said that we shouldn't have fucking regulated. We shouldn't. We shouldn't regulate fucking the the stock market shit or the the. That's not true. Yes, they did. Plenty of economists want to regulate the stock market. That's not true. There's not nearly as much consensus there as there is on tariffs. And also, economists making predictions is very different than economists observing historical evidence. Like what I'm, what all the things we're quoting here, or at least I'm quoting here, is like it's not even economists what we're doing observing. Is also, economists are also bullshit. Economists are usually correct about predictions. The fact that they get some things wrong no, doesn't mean no, they're they not. useless. Yes, they. Yes, they do. Yes, they absolutely so they, do. So they, they predicted the 2008 crash. Does I that just said the fact that follow from him don't predict stuff well. Bro, also, also, another thing, another thing, this is what I fucking hate about entering Twitter. It's like, the alternative, the people who, like, the, the people who are not, like, professional economists, they are way more wrong, right? Like, they predicted, they predicted, like, 10 out of the last two recessions. They're, like, always predicting a recession, and it never happens, okay? Like, they, like so no one holds them accountable because they're not in an academic environment. Meanwhile, the entire field of economics, they, they got something wrong one time in 2008, 20 years ago. Forever, we can dismiss what they have to say. It's like bull fucking shit. Like, like, also, it's not even true. There were people predicting the crash in 2008. People made money off of it. People yeah, were Dean literally. Baker. <laughs> yeah, okay, Dean Baker. Let me ask you this. And, like, Do you think, because yes, I know the answer to this, do you think the Trump team has any economist supporting what they're saying will be a positive? One, I know oh, a again? lot of some Trump do. economists don't even know that imports don't subtract from GDP. One of the Trump no, economists. Outside of your fucking, your bullshit fucking. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, <laughs> non-farm, non-farm. Uh-huh. Brass, what's the equation for GDP, what's the formula for GDP? The formula for GDP. That's yeah. gross domestic product, so that would be yeah. like the, uh, the, I guess it would be like the total revenue of the country divided by the people, is that what, how you figure it? That's for, that's per capita, no. that's per capita. That's yeah. GDP per capita. What's the, what's the equation, what's the formula for the total revenue the total revenue there are two formulas what, look they're both they know, both say the same thing honestly. okay i don't know I don't so know. don't why are you asking me about the gdp of the united states when you don't know what gdp is GDP, Wait, I have to. why did it's you ask me 15 GDP. minutes ago why did you why did you ask me about the gdp of the united states when you don't know that what gdp is yes i do okay do, yeah i i do know what it is bullshit also, okay. like this is a this is a this is a tweet so from. Do you think that like not knowing what it is, like because to me what matters is the GDP per capita. That's what shows you fucking. You don't even know what it is. No, <laughs> regardless, GDP per capita is GDP divided by population. It is also GDP per capita is less important than. Either way, whatever, whatever. It's like in the weeds about. Also, like. Quality it, of life it, okay, I need to end stream soon because I I have like GDP GDP is a. Worse metric than actual individual consumption because it could be inflated by multiple things that are irrelevant. Regardless, you, you don't even know what like I'm, I'm saying here. You don't even know. So what? Why? 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 Because I don't ah. think that. Because again, I think that you guys are just assuming that everybody's gonna sit still. People aren't gonna sit still. Like okay, wait, just, wait, wait, wait. No, I need to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, <laughs> hold on, wait. I need to end stream. I need to end stream soon. I need to end stream soon. Okay, relatively soon. I just want Brass House to concede that on the like Econ 101 model of tariffs, we don't assume things stay still. In fact, we we the Econ 101 model of tariffs shows that more goods are gonna be produced domestically. Concede that. Acknowledge that, please. Yeah. What? Yeah. I, um, I, I mean, I believe economics is the, know, is like the, the least about. static field. Economics, wait, wait, just saying, economics is the field where things are the least static. Like, they, like they constantly will tell you about how much economics is the language of incentives, right? Where, like, exactly. you, you, you see exactly. how people change their behavior. Exactly. So when mm -hmm. we analyze the incentive of people under tariffs, when we what analyze the incentives of people, oh, my God, when we, uh, do, when we employ, when we, when we employ a very simple, a understanding of incentives and we analyze tariffs we see very reasonably why they will reduce productivity and wages why right. they will reduce I jobs why they will make finish school and i was married and not and interested in this either like really by understanding that people will change how they act we know that it will be worse if we do tariffs now i'm saying if trump ends up doing universal tariffs that will be pretty bad for the economy it could still be a good economy we just know it's going to be less good than what it could have been
Okay. Well, I will concede what non fawn was asking me to concede there. And I will admit okay. that, like, Thank what, you. What you're saying, like, I'll admit that what you're saying is a, is a complete possibility. But I'm just curious. Eastern Standard Time, Chris. If you could steal EST, man my perspective. The New York Time Show. Yeah, your perspective, it's your perspective is like, look, like, economists have been wrong in the past. I'm not like an asshole. I'm, I'm, not, being an asshole. I'm not being an asshole. I'm not being an asshole. I know what a steel man is. So your position is, look, maybe economists are completely against my position, but they've been wrong in the past, and also it's hard to extract data, things from data, and Trump is going to shake things up. He's in, in a unique moment in history, so past data does not apply here. Now, if we look at the tariffs she's going to do, we can understand that they will bring back jobs because now we have the uh, outsourced uh, jobs in China. Once we do a tariff, it's not going to be uh, profitable for them to produce in China, so they're going to go back to the United States, and then we're going to get more jobs. That's what Trump is advocating for. That's what he's going to do, and now he's more skilled, so we can employ that better. He has more ability to pass it through the Senate. He has more executive power, all that, and so like we, we could expect that, and also things are going to be like, like yeah we could we could compare it to the, the biden years and we're going to see that things are going to be a lot better that's like your position basically pretty much yeah i think there i think uh yeah pretty much i mean i think you're missing i don't think and i can explain how know, every single level uh, there is retarded like i can explain you already, to you how every single argument there is retarded. We, have, we gone through this well, yes I, he doesn't I, I, think, uh, I think it's more about like creating more, us like you know a, a better uh, opportunity for us to sell there too I think, but i think you nailed my shit so maybe we just okay. disagree Yep, you guys look, look, look. disagree. Here, here, here. Uh, let, let's make this. Let's make this. If you have free time, there's a great book. Great book. Okay, non fun knows what I'm going to say. There's a great book called What's Wrong with Protectionism. It very, very layman friendly. Very, like, goes out over a bunch of data and debunks one by one every argument for protectionism that protection reads make. Okay, it's a very comprehensive book. It's only 150 pages. It's like very short. Okay, it's very so, good book. So, <laughs> You'll see that they don't assume things are static. You see that they will like employ very basic things from trade theory, and also the econ one hundred one econ one hundred one model is actually wrong. Non fun said the says that jobs will come back to the United States. Actually, the more nuanced models show that actually trade all uh, protectionism actually reduces well, yeah, jobs. Yeah, yeah, no. I just wanted but, him. I just wanted him to know that like the econ one hundred one model doesn't assume static things. Like it shows there's more production in the U.S. But yeah, I agree. Obviously, I don't think it brings jobs back either. Yeah. Well, I mean, it gets me. It gets. It makes my mouth water thinking about it, as a businessman. Like I get excited oh. about it. About tariffs. Well, why? How is it going to benefit you? Do you outsource your thing? Like, no, no benefit. No business wants to be tariffed. Or, okay, or to know, pay I, tariff. well, I think that, like, here's. I'll, I'll be honest with you. If you, and this is a genuine statement. If you're saying, how do I think this benefits me? Right? Because I don't. I'm not an import export guy. But I think oh. that if the government, let me. I'm just, this is an honest opinion. Yeah. I think if the government yeah. is going to focus on domestic product. Right, and that's like they're gonna they're, they're focused on using the American economy to benefit Americans. I think that means they're gonna need more production out of me here in America. I think they're gonna deregulate to allow me to get into areas I couldn't get in before. I think it's gonna create such a need for work here that I'm gonna be able to capitalize on it. I think there's gonna. But think now we're like, talking about Trump overall. Trump can do other good things. He did some good things already. He did mostly bad things, and they already again. But I'm just saying, he could do other good things. I'm fine. I'm saying universal tariffs. I don't even think he will end up implementing it because okay. people will close it. I don't think. I don't think he's gonna do it. Look, the only way you want a tariff is to for other people to be tariffed. You want to like to be protected and like be collect rents over other people. Like that's what you want to do if you are like. It, you never should be excited that you are tariffed or that like that you know. Like yeah, I'm excited that you don't the market wanna... factors are changing, and I feel like it's going to be good it's for like, the little it's guy. It's like every company wants to be a monopoly, right? Like if the government says like, "Oh, we're going to create a," monopoly, very happy if it's you, but you should very be very sad if it's not you. Yeah. Um, so right. similarly, when a company say, when a government says, "Actually, we're, like look here," Nonfun asks this question a lot, and it's fantastic. I should ask it way more. Not fun. Con you constantly ask me. I think it's a great question. Would you Would you be happy if California tariffed like you know Georgia now? Like, would you be happy if they did that? Obviously not. It would be terrible. Right? It would hurt both of them. Yeah. 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 Okay, can I? So, so it's, the same, it's the same with like China. It's the same with like every other country. Also, keep in mind. And uh -huh. Wait, close no, these no, are your no closings. Ever, okay, closing no, no statements. Conservatives now. never address that. <laughs> conservatives never. Wait, you need to end the thing? I do. Yeah, like, please. <laughs> wait, just the last thing, last thing. They never respond to like the idea that like businesses will. They always assume the businesses will move to the United States. Why, why would they not move to like Mexico or another country? Right, so yeah, there's that. 
Uh, no, I, I agree. All right, see you, fellas. See ya. Bye bye. No, I'm fine. We need to talk about Austrian economics. We need to. Okay, we, you can do that. We could we could do a review of the you know uh, what's his name? Fuck, I forgot his name. Scott. Mises. Oh, yeah. sure. Maybe anybody you think Scott is his name. Yeah. Either way, yeah, fun things. Is uh, he's wrong. Yeah. True. Whatever. Bye. All right, I'll read more about it, but yeah. Yeah, bye. See ya. Talk to uh. Well, I can send you. I can send you like a. There's a good thing of debunking argumentation ethics, which is like not exactly Austrian economics, but it's by Hoppe, who's like their cult leader. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. All right. Talk to uh. Yep. Matt, Matt Brunig wrote about it too. Yeah. Oh, Matt Brunig. Well, if Matt Brunig wrote about, it, I gotta read it. He's gonna have a. I think the Bridges episode is out. I, I should watch it. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Yep. All right. <laughs> I love streaming. I love that you guys watch me stream. Greatly appreciate it. I will stream again tomorrow. Make sure you follow for that. I have a lot of fucking videos to edit. Okay. So uh, head over to actual Jake, I guess. Love streaming. Love you guys watch me stream. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can watch all the debates I upload. Go uh, follow here on Twitch or Kick or whatever. You'll see your name pop up. It's very cool. I will stream again tomorrow. So make sure you guys follow for that. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube channel is doing pretty well right now. But yeah. Uh, if you're on YouTube or something, just know I also stream on Twitch and Kick. Uh, love streaming. Love to guys watch me stream. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Non fun. Why your beautiful face has been occupying so little screen? Um, I just don't think it. It doesn't look as good if I zoom in. I don't know. Like it. Like it cuts off my head or whatever. I could find a tighter camera angle that would work. But I don't know. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Love all you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. If you want to chat with me live, sub here or go to nonfon420 on Twitch or kick via the links below. Once again, please like and sub to help with the algorithm and consider sending a donation through YouTube Super Thanks to directly support me and I'll make sure to reply to any question you ask. See you guys next time.